Good morning. It is another early start today. We got up at 5 a.m. and it's just about to be 5.30. As you can guess by the helmets, we have rented a scooter because we are going to go to Tegelalang Rice Terraces this morning. Let's go. We've made it to Tagalalang Rice Terraces and we are the only people here. So let's hope it stays that way at the moment. We ended up just parking up at one of the many cafes along here. They generally offer parking for 10,000 per person. So about a dollar, so not too bad. Um, but the great thing with this one is it provides us with direct access into this part of the rice fields, which is, as you can see, stunning yeah it seems like most of the cafes have access out the back and so you just walk down to the rice terraces from them and i'm pretty sure that after you're done here you're probably expected to have maybe like coffee or juice or you know show them a little love and support This has truly been a magical experience. It's been better than expected and truly lived up to the hype, which I think in these situations where you have expectations doesn't always happen. My favorite thing has just been getting lost wandering through these rice terraces. It's kind of a choose your own adventure because there's so many different paths that you can take. And if you get here as close to sunrise as possible, so get a super early start. It means that you will avoid the tourist crowds that we've heard about. When we first arrived, we were really by ourselves, but there are more people here now. But still not that many. I've counted fewer than 20 and over such a vast expanse as this, then actually you can kind of tailor the experience to just yourself and that actually works out really, really well. We've only maybe encountered a couple of other tourists on our way, which has actually been really, really good for us. Mm -hmm. I think probably the thing that blows my mind is that like, this has been here for ever. People just live here and they work the fields and this is just part of their daily life to be working on these incredible rice terraces. Amazing to think that they're such a tourist attraction, but it's just from you know daily life and everything like that. But yeah, I think we move on to the next thing, whatever that's going to be. Coffee. Coffee, yeah. After a lovely morning at the Rice Terraces, we are back in a wood and we've come back to Sunny Coffee where we came yesterday for an amazing flat white. 
but on the menu there's a couple of interesting options that apparently have come over from Australia. One of them is called an espresso orange, which is literally as it sounds. Shot of espresso and then orange juice. I have no idea how this is going to be. I hope it's going to go well. Let's, let's check it out, I guess. Okay. Not bad. Kind of weird, but you know in those kind of selection boxes where you get the orange creams and stuff like that? It's kind of like that mixed with a coffee cream. It kind of works. I don't know how it works, but it kind of works. Despite Nick putting on a good face, he's not feeling so well at the moment. So we are just going to go back to the hotel and take a rest. But we might go out this afternoon. Definitely tomorrow. We'll just see how you're doing. But we're going to go chasing waterfalls at some point while we're in a foot because there are an abundance of them. We just had lunch and coffee at an amazing new place called Bake. And now we are going to head out and do some more stuff. We're getting around all of the cafes here. Soon enough, you'll have another Toronto-like series where we do like our coffee walks and rate all of the cafes here in Abud. <laughs> show you this next waterfall I know how teasing of us we just wanted to show you the prices of this yes we know it's a natural thing but people still charge for it for entry so with the previous one then parking was free but there was a donation of 15k each and then for this one it was 20k each so between us it was still like 150 to two Canadian dollars per person. So reasonable, but definitely make sure you have cash on you if you're planning on visiting these waterfalls. wondering we went to Uma Anyar waterfall first and we are currently at Sumampan waterfall. They're both south of Abud city center and the reason we chose them is because they're relatively close by to each other they're like three minutes away and it was only a 20 minute scooter ride and then the other nice thing is from the road they maybe take at most five minutes to walk down to so very convenient and also less touristy yep in this one in particular this definitely has more people in it but there's maximum maybe 12 down here and with the last one then it was us and one other person so yeah if you're looking for something a little bit quieter just south of Ubud then this is the way forward and these two are perfect to visit if you've done something in the morning Whereas tomorrow, I think we're probably going to go to a different cluster of waterfalls in a different direction, but there's more of them. Mm -hmm. So you can kind of split it up a little bit. And the key thing is for anybody who's a bit of a water baby, then swimming is usually a thing at both of these. It's only if there's like high tides or something where it's not advised. Nick forgot his water shoes, which is why we haven't gone into this waterfall in particular. Idiot. This one you actually can take the most amazing photos in. But 
I don't want to go in by myself. So hopefully he'll bring his water shoes tomorrow. And the thing is you kind of really need them because the bottom is a little bit rocky. So you definitely wouldn't want to go barefoot. Yeah, I've got to be careful with these kinds of things. Don't want to break yourself. We've come back to Warung Kaimang, which is the same place that we were at last night. I've ordered myself a Nasi Champo special. And meanwhile, Rachel has gone for a tempeh satay. We're going to enjoy this and have a very chill rest of the evening. So that's going to pretty much be us for the day. So until next time, take care. And keep smiling.